Yo, what is good guys, back here with another YouTuber video, and in case you cannot tell by the title below, this video will be video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on someone or something going on in this wacky weird world called professional wrestling, guys. You can tell by the title below, this one will be about my honest thoughts on uh, Cora Jade uh, before... Uh, share my thoughts and opinions. Would love to know what your thoughts are on her down in the comments below while you are down there. Feel free to um, hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification. Of course you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. And when it comes to Cora Jade, um, for myself personally, I'm not saying she's bad in the ring or bad on the mic she is in her early 20s i want to say she's like 22 23 kind of deal i could be wrong about that but she was born in like 01 kind of deal so my math obviously is not uh the best kind of deal so early 20s either way uh and whatnot but for myself personally she is one of those people that even though i'm not the biggest fan of her in the ring or on the mic she definitely at this rate has more of a career in front of her than in front or than behind her uh kind of deal and whatnot and uh whatnot so does she assuming that she still wants to be a wrestler kind of deal anywhere uh or especially in wwe then she'll probably have at least i would assume 10 15 years uh in front of her uh kind of deal again assuming that she would still want to wrestle uh, kind of deal, and she physically can, like, she doesn't get major injuries, and, like, hey, I'm done, kind of deal, because even though I might not be the biggest fan of her, I can definitely see the potential that she has within WWE, kind of deal. I'm not saying that she's going to be the next Charlotte or Paige, kind of deal, like, the next, or Bianca Belair, uh, in recent times, kind of deal, but I can definitely see her five, seven years uh, down the road once she gets one more in-ring uh, experience. I don't know for sure how long she's been wrestling, like four years, maybe, kind of deal and whatnot, four or five years, but in-ring experience, uh, exper more experience on the mic, uh, kind of deal, and just in general, life experience, because uh, you at 21 would not obviously have the same kind of life experience as you at 25 or 27 uh, kind of deal. Nothing against Cora Jade. It's just life uh, kind of deal and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, for myself personally, it's one of those things where uh, even though, like I mentioned a couple of times, she I won't purposely go out of my way to watch one of her matches or one of her promos kind of deal, but the odd time that I'm watching NXT live and she has a match or she has a promo, I would watch it kind of deal. I, like I mentioned, definitely see the upside of Cora Jade uh, kind of deal. Again, assuming that she still would want to wrestle, it can wrestle like healthy kind of deal, like she doesn't get injured and she keeps her head on straight uh, kind of deal. Uh, and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts and uh, opinions. Would love to know what your thoughts are on Cora Jade uh, kind of deal in general. Like, do you like her? Do you not like her? Why? Why not? Have you met her? I've yet to meet her uh, kind of deal. But then again, I don't think I had the opportunity to meet her off the top of my head at least uh, and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, for myself personally, it's one of those things where I would want to meet her, just didn't, off the top of my head, have the opportunity uh, to do so and whatnot. And I would love to know what your ceiling is uh, for for Cora Jade uh, kind of deal. Do you think her ceiling is kind of in the women's division, like the mid-card level, like maybe the odd women's championship run on the main roster? Or do you think she's the next Bianca or Charlotte or Paige where she is the face of the women's division. Would love to know what your thoughts are on that down in the comments below. While you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification. Of course, 
you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would honestly mean a lot to myself if you did. More importantly than doing any of that, I hope you guys are doing okay mentally, emotionally, and physically. The world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up. I feel like I'm just lying to myself, lying to myself, yeah. Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die Feel like I'm just lying to myself But it's 